name's Doug Pat, and this is How to Architect. This is the second video in a five-part series called, Could You Be an Architect? In the last video, I said that there are four simple questions you should answer regarding your inclination to become an architect. The second question is, are you good in math? I've been told more than once that the only reason someone decided not to study architecture is because they weren't good in math. In some ways, that's a shame. Let's review. One of the ways a building is described is in mathematical terms, whether it's in dimensions or calculations that measure structural issues. The architect must have a firm grasp of dimensional frameworks, as well as the principles behind structural calculations. The outcome of these calculations will affect their building structural systems. With that in mind, the architect, when desired, can work with an architectural engineer to do the specific calculations that will assist them in creating the structural systems and members that are required. The study of architecture will involve mathematics and physics. These courses focus on the process and mechanisms that ensure buildings stand up. They do involve complex mathematical calculations and will challenge most people on their understanding of physics and the use of math to solve problems. The architecture student studies these things not because they'll always be doing the calculations, but because they need to understand the principles behind the calculations. They do this because their design decisions depend on their understanding of the natural world, physics, and materials. Bottom line, don't make the decision not to become an architect simply because you're not good at math, but do understand that you'll need to have some skill in mathematics to get through school. If you're like me, you'll study with people who are smarter than you, and their inclinations in math will make you a little better prepared when it comes to test time. A little bit of wisdom. Always work with people who are smarter than you. See you for part three.